All right, so this video is on the vertex formula. Uh, from the last video, we learned that if our quadratic function was written in a certain form, the standard form, then we could read off the vertex right away. But uh, our functions, our quadratic functions, are not always written in that standard form. So uh, there's another method that will allow us to figure out the vertex pretty quickly. It's called the vertex formula. And it says the vertex of the graph of a quadratic function f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c, so that's just the general quadratic function, uh, where a is not equal to zero, then the vertex, and don't forget the vertex is a point, right? And here's how you figure out the point. Well, you have an x part of the vertex and a y part of the vertex. To figure out the x part, it's negative b over 2a, b being the coefficient of x, a being the coefficient of x squared. Plug the values for a and b into the uh, negative b over 2a, which would give you the, the uh, x part of the vertex. Uh, then once we know that number, even though this part over here, the y part looks pretty scary, all it really means is take the number that we just got for the x value of the vertex and plug it into your function to figure out what its corresponding y value would be. That's all this notation is. So really, what you need to remember is negative b over 2a will give us the x part of the vertex, the h, if you will, from our hk situation. Then once we know that value, plug it into your function up here and let it tell you what the y part is supposed to be. That's it. All right, let's try an example. All right, find the vertex of uh, f of x equals x squared minus 2x plus 3. Alright, so everybody agrees it's a quadratic uh, function. So a would be 1, b would be negative 2, and c would be 3. Everybody see where that's coming from? Alright, so I'm going to use the h. I'm going to say right, h, because that's from the h, the vertex being hk. h is equal to this negative b over 2a thing. Right, and then plug your values in. Okay, so b, so this negative sign's there, b is negative 2. Let's make that a little bigger. And then a is 1. Everybody see where those are coming from? And then that just simplifies down to the number 1. Right, then once we know h, we can go find k. k would be f of well, this 1 you just found. So we go plug 1 in. So you get 1 squared minus 2 times 1 plus 3. Add all that up, and you get 2. Everybody see that? 1 minus 2 would be negative 1. Negative 1 plus 3 would be 2. So the vertex would be 1 comma 2. And as soon as we know that, we can find the axis of symmetry. Because which way does this parabola open? Up or down? Right? It opens up because the, co the uh, coefficient of x squared out here is positive. So the axis of symmetry is a vertical line, which would be x equals the x part of the vertex. Everybody see how that works? Okay, so let's try this one. Right? So h equals Again, negative b over 2a, which would be negative b is 12, and a is 2. So that's negative 12 divided by 4, which gives you negative 3. All right, so once we know that, we can figure out k, which would be g of negative 3. So we would have 2 times negative 3 squared plus 12 times negative 3 minus 5, which goes to uh, 2 times 9 minus 36 minus 5, which finally goes down to negative 23. You should have 18 minus 36 and then minus 5. That takes you down to negative 23. So then the vertex for number 2 here for g would be negative 3 comma negative 23. And the axis of symmetry again would be x equals negative 3. 
So everybody see how to use that vertex for me? It's really kind of handy when we're not already in our nice little x minus h squared plus k standard form thing. Now, to get this, this isn't just magic that's happening here. To get the negative b over 2a, really what happened, and we're not going to walk through it here, but if you take this function right here, f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c, and write it in standard form, and the standard form was f of x equals a times x minus h squared plus k. If you were to take this up here in red, ax squared plus bx plus c, and write it down here into this x minus h squared plus k, you would get that the x part of the vertex would be negative b over 2a. How to do that involves completing the square. So if you take f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c, and complete use completing the square, you can rewrite this into the form a times x minus a squared plus k. And when you do that, then the h part turns out to be just negative b over 2a. And again, once you know negative b over 2a, to figure out the y value, you just plug that into your function and let the math do all the work for you, rather than memorizing whatever this ugly formula would be for k. That's it. Study well. Please let me know if you have any questions.